Hi everybody, it's Cindy. It is Thursday, June 14th, and I'm back to do an update. How is everybody doing? I can't believe we are halfway through June and the garden is exploding and I can't wait to share a slide video at the end. It's uh, pretty exciting. Uh, it's a great time of year for me. I just love this time of the year. I have a couple of finishes to share. I have the giveaway to do. I'm going to be sharing a slideshow of the garden. And I did have a couple of questions uh, from some viewers. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much. Uh, this community is amazing. The first piece that I'm going to start with is a Lizzie Kate pattern. And it's called Red, White, and Blue. And I actually have a link below, uh, a tutorial on how I finished this piece. And um, it hangs. Let's see if I could get it all in there. There you go. And I'm going to bring it in a little bit closer. It really is really pretty. Give you some detail there. Now, this was done on Heroic. Uh, it's by Picture This Plus, and let me get the count. The count on that is 32 count, and then I have another one, so bring that in. It has a little bit of marbling of like red and blue. It, it is a beautiful piece uh, that I liked really working on, so I bought another piece for, hey, maybe another patriotic piece, but um, I'm just going to show you. Now this I found for $5 on clearance uh, probably over a year ago. <laughs> so. Uh, I just finished it on here and it, it hangs by my fireplace and um, I'll definitely be including a video of my uh, patriotic display. I do have it set up for patriotic right now so it's a great time of year. <laughs> the next piece that I have is a pattern and it's by uh, Blackbird Designs. Let's see if I can get it. And it's called Sweet Land of Liberty and this is the piece that I did. And I know a couple of people are doing uh, that piece. This is a great book by Blackbird Designs. That I highly recommend it if you do like patriotic. There's other pieces that I do want to do uh, in that book. And this piece, I wasn't sure how I was going to finish it. And um, this was done, this is on a linen um, from Victoria Motto, excuse me, and it's 32 count. Now she doesn't have a name of her linen, her linens. Um, so I'll show you. It's like a tannish uh, color, and that's turning up pretty true to color. And so I really liked it. I, I did enjoy working on it, and this is the piece, and there you go. Now, I did change a couple things. I changed that to blue. I changed a couple colors. I made really red for the, uh, the flag, and... Um, Oh, I just, this piece was so much fun to stitch. And what I did is I, um, this cost me less than $5 to finish. And yeah, <laughs> who doesn't love that? This I got at Hobby Lobby is 50% off. And these are just the little uh, wood frames. And they, they have a saying on it. That they always have it particular to the holiday that that's going on. So... I picked up a bunch of them. Every time I go, when I 50% off, I get all different shapes and sizes so that when I want to finish, I do. And what I did is I just used scrapbook paper, which I have. I have a ton of scrapbooking paper um, that I used to use for taking photos, not really for scrapbooking. But I just glued that on here, finished this on the sticky board, which is in the tutorial below. And, um, this sits on the fireplace mantle too. So I do have uh, two patriotic pieces that I added to my display and I, I was super excited about that. I am started on another piece, but I'm not gonna share that today. It's not a gift, but I'm just gonna keep that one under wraps for now. But I did work a little bit on the stocking and I added, these are gonna be the point setters in here and I, I finished this whole uh, background part. It's super pretty. 
super pretty. I haven't been stitching as much as I would like. It is the summer season and I'm just not home as much. I'm always outside walking, gardening. I got, I gardening kind of takes over for me this time of year. So um, that's okay. Listen, I finished two pieces. I'm super happy. I started another one. I'm working on a little. And I do want to get back to some of the pieces I have been working on. Now I'm going to show you, this is the uh, wooden pieces that I get at Hobby Lobby. They always say like something in it and they're 50% off. Now this one has like it's on the inside, so I'll, excuse me, I'll use that for something. So this is where Hobby Lobby or any place, just pick them up and you can use them uh, for the finishing of your pieces. Uh, let's see. Sorry about that. I had to get the piece. This is from my archives. Now I really don't have archives because... I lost everything a couple of years ago, which is a big deal, but uh, this is Summer, and this is by Lizzie Kate, and I actually have that professionally framed, and this sits on my fireplace mantle too, and um, I just wanted to share that. I'm not sure if I ever shown that in a video before, so that's from the archives. Uh, the next thing that I have to share, excuse me, is um, I do have, I'm going to you know, be picking the winners at the end uh, for the giveaway. So I'll be including that at the end. I did get a couple of uh, amazing gifts and it's always so great when you get happy mail, totally unexpected and from stitchers, hey, what could be better? So I'm gonna get those. I did uh, receive a beautiful butterfly card and it really, there you go, you can see it. This is from Cheryl McKinney. She has a, a floss tube channel. If you have not visited her, go give her a visit. I, I just, she's a great, great person to watch. And she made me, I never had scissor fobs, I know. We're, I just don't have them, but she made me two of them. They're super cute. Let me see if I can get it in. That one's got, got the little frog toad, Amy's toads. It just reminded me of Amy. Amy, if you watch this, below in the comments is going to be my email address. Send me your regular mailing address. I did have something for you and I contacted you, but I know with YouTube you don't always get the messages. And this is, this is a flower. Let's see if I could get a close up of that. Give me one second there. Oh, it's hard to, there you go. But they're beautiful. Thank you so much, Cheryl. These are so pretty. She sent me a little bead kit, and it's a little girl. She sent me some really pretty linen. I love the color. Super pretty. And she also sent me this uh, cross stitch uh, leaflet book that has all kinds of patterns in it. So, Cheryl, thank you so much. I really appreciate getting that. The next gift I got was from uh, Tiffany, Express Life Tifa, and I had won one of her giveaways, and I don't really win too much, but she made me a Snoopy zipper pouch, the clear in the back. How awesome is that? I love Snoopy, and um, she really did an amazing job. The zipper it opens it up and goes in, but this looks like a flag up here. How cool is that? <laughs> Thank you so much, Tiffany. You know, I adore it. <laughs> uh, just amazing. Thank you so much. I did send out a bunch of packages this week to other people. So that's always, I love to give. So it was super exciting to get those out in the mail. I did have a, a couple of questions um, from my previous videos. So I'm just gonna answer a couple of those questions. I really don't get too many questions, but Sorry about the noise here, but I did want to address those. And um, Helen West asked how I stitch so much. And <laughs> I pretty much stitch every night. And it gets dark really late here. It gets dark around 9 p.m. So I don't get as much stitching time. But typically, I could stitch anywhere to three to five hours a night. That's, that's a lot. That's every day of the week. Pretty much. <laughs> so that's how I don't stitch really any faster than anyone else. Um, cute little stitch asked how I did the edges on the white Christmas and that was chenille 
And I purchased that on Etsy directly from Lady Dot Creations. You could go right to Etsy and order the trimmings and chenille directly from her. Uh, Stitchy Ray, Stitch Away asks, what are the silver plants that were in my last video? And those are called Dusty Millers. Now they do go by other names, but Dusty Miller. And Nancy King asked if I plant sunflower seeds. Uh, I do in the front of my yard, in, in the front garden, in certain areas, but by the bird feeders, I do not plant those. Those grow from the seeds that fall from the birds eating from the feeders. And actually, when you see the slideshow, the birdhouses are actually covered from the sunflowers. It's awesome. But they could still get in there <laughs> to get their uh, food. And those were the only questions I had. So I just wanted to address those couple of questions. Uh, my sister and I are going to Asheville Saturday morning. We will be there on Saturday, June 16th. So if you're in the area, stop by, you might see me and my sister. We're celebrating her 50th birthday. And then we're going to, I think it's Gastonia to a fabric store. It's supposed to be a really huge fabric store about the size of Hobby Lobby. So we're excited. We have our food places picked out and things like that. So we're super excited uh, to go there. And Friday night, we're going to actually a local quilt show. It won't be a big quilt show, but I'll definitely try and get as much footage as I can of both of those for everybody. People like, please get pictures, photos. I'll, I'll definitely do my best to share that in my next video with you. On that note, uh, it's going to be a busy weekend. I probably won't get too much stitching in, but we're super excited to get away for a couple of days. and. Her birthday is June 17th. It actually falls on Father's Day. That happens to her a lot, which is kind of funny. But uh, we're gonna have a great trip doing that. I'm gonna be attaching a video of the winners of the giveaway. I do wanna thank everybody so much. If you come by, visit, leave a comment, give a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the subscribe button and the bell, you'll get updates if I post anything. I hope everybody has an awesome weekend. Until we meet again, everyone, happy stitching. The first drawing is for Christmas drawers. I had 34 people sign up to win this. So we are going to go to the random number generator. I put in 1 to 34, and we are going to get a result. 26. So 26 on the list. The list so you could see it. Valerie Pennell or Rennell? Valerie, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that last name wrong. My email address is below. Send me your mailing address and I'll get that out to you right away. And that was for the Christmas jars. The next one we're going to do is the fobs. And the fobs I had. A lot of people, 45 people wanted that one. So we're going to put in between 1 and 45. Generate. Number 15. So number 15 is on the fobs. 15 is Sandra D. 15. Sandra D. Sandra, you won below. This is my email address. Send me your mailing address. I'll get that out right away. And then the last one we're going to do is the roses. Now there was only six people who wanted the roses, so you get a much better chance of this one. I'm going to hit generate. Number five. And number five is, go to the list, Crazy Cat Creations. Crazy Cat Creations. Oh, I love her. I know her. <laughs> she has a floss tube channel. Uh, send me your address and I'll get that right out to you. Congratulations uh, to the winners. Uh, I so appreciate you watching my channel. Have a great stitching weekend. This is the patriotic display that I have set up on the fireplace mantle. Now I'm going to bring it in closer so you can see it.
on the bottom shelf I have all of the uh, pillows and it's in a patriotic basket and I'm just gonna uh, pan out piece over here that I made that hangs over there and this is the top of the mantle and I'll bring you in a little bit closer love that summer piece that is the piece that I just showed you that I finished I really like that piece. And I got my card on Blue Jay and they're red, white, and blue, so they fit right in. And then up top is my my patriotic lighthouse. And that is the display. I'm gonna give you an update of the garden. It is Thursday. June 14th and all of the sunflowers are starting to bloom and I'm gonna take you in you got my little cardinal there and all of these silver plants are starting to bloom and as you could see all of the sunflowers have bloomed it still amazes me that you plant a little seed and you get these big amazing flowers and they're super tall I mean I'm not tall I'm only 5'2 but <laughs> these tower me <laughs> like so much but we'll get in look at how how beautiful they are and the big ones are just starting to sprout and get big there's the bee bomb this is huge it's almost as tall as me. <laughs> and then the nasteriums are all blooming here out front. You got the orange and yellow and got the pink bee bomb. This is a baby. I just got this one this year. And then we got more sunflowers. And that's the top of my house. It's really not that far from that. They're tall. They're beautiful. And this didn't bloom yet, but these have buds on them, so this will be blooming soon. And I'm gonna take you down to the left side of the garden. I have wildflowers growing everywhere. These are all gonna get ready to bloom. It has completely filled in. And you can see here, got some some of the flowers starting to bloom and oh you got all kinds of buds on all these next week this will be really beautiful these will all be blooming and I do got oh, some sunflowers and it really is beautiful out here beautiful and I'm just gonna pan and go down the whole length of the house it's really long this is the tomato garden. This is huge already. It really is taller than me. And you got all kinds of tomatoes and everything blooming in here. It's amazing. The tomatoes, there's so many flowers. I'm going to have a ton of tomatoes, which is awesome. This is where the cucumbers are and Oh, it's amazing. Look, you already have cucumbers growing in there. Look how big that cucumber is already. All kinds of flowers. There'll be tons of uh, cucumbers in here. Just from my last video on Sunday, everything has blossomed and bloomed. And it really, it's Thursday. It's not that long of a time. Over here. The eggplants have flowers on them. They're getting ready to bloom. And look at the beets. The beet greens are amazing. Very big. I'm going to have lots of beets soon. So that's that garden. This is the pepper garden. And 
You could see the jalapenos are growing and you got green peppers there. Everything's really fruiting now. This is where the bird feeders are and they are completely buried with sunflowers. And they do get in there. They actually just flew out because they heard me. But they're starting to bloom. Look, the first sunflower bloomed and all the buds. It's going to be awesome next week. Oh, I just love it. I'm going to take you over to the lettuce garden. This is the lettuce garden. And you could see all the wildflowers that I planted on this side of the garden. There was all kinds of bees in here earlier. And um, all kinds of bees. I got some pictures of it, but we'll get into some close flowers. Look at these. These are all the wildflowers. And, oh, they are just gorgeous. Look at the butterfly going all around. <laughs> it's kind of funny. And you got a whole lot more buds over here, so it's growing awesome. Over here, I got my lettuce growing. Look at the kale, it's huge. <laughs> like, the kale is amazing. Over here, you got the Swiss chard. It's getting really big. And that tomato plant, I did not plant. It, it's probably a seed that grew from last year. Those are all getting big, too. So, and over here, I do have my herb garden growing. You got that one sunflower in there that I planted. And that is the garden update.